Fake news, hate speech, terror-related content, all of this is complex. All of this is so emotive, I realize. But how can you spearhead and, and target a way of looking through this with Facebook at the moment, not only for individuals, but also for brands? There's no place for any of this content on Facebook, no place for hate, no place for violence, no place for terrorism. And we take that responsibility very seriously. We just announced last week, we've been working on this for a long time, we're going to continue to work on it, but we announced some really important next steps we're taking. We're using AI as a technology to help us find any content that may be inappropriate and get it off even faster. We're making a big human resource investment. We already have researchers and law enforcement experts and terrorism experts who work at Facebook, but we're growing that, as well as our human review capacity. We have about 4,500 people around the world who review content to remove inappropriate content, and we're growing that by 3,000, so that's a very significant investment. We're also working with nonprofits, governments, other companies around the world to make sure that we all work together to make sure that this content you know, is not on our platforms. For brands, we offer a lot of tools for brands to know where their ads can show to make sure that they know that Facebook is a safe community for them. Talk to us about diversity in Silicon Valley. If I'm a female looking at getting a job in technology at the moment, I look at <laughs> one big brand, I look at Uber, for example, and maybe I'm being put off. Well, obviously, the reports of what's happening at Uber are super troubling, and I'm glad that they are taking action to address them, and all of us need to do more. We definitely need more women and underrepresented minorities in the tech field. We also need them in leadership in every industry in the world. We have these same issues. In technology, we have a special both concern and opportunity, which is that women are not studying computer science. In 1985, women were 35% of computer science degrees, and now we're down to 17 or 18%. But we know that girls are outperforming boys in school, in most countries in the world, including yours, including mine, all the way from elementary school through university. And so we need to persuade our daughters and people of underrepresented minorities that tech is for them so that we can make sure our industry over the long run can represent the diversity of the people we serve.